Hi everyone, welcome to the Free Range Diva. So this is part two of my detox series. And uh, in this video, I'm taking you to Hawaii to do our detoxing. So um, <laughs> the, I know that uh, here in Southern California, we have no topography that compares to the lush tropicalness that is our 50th state. But uh, I thought the turtles were cute. So that's why I included those in the beginning. Um, anyway, sorry, I'm having a little trouble getting comfortable here. Uh, and I also wanted to mention that the, um, that's my diffuser going on there in the background. Um, I don't think I've ever mentioned it before, but uh, I used to live in New York, and I was at the World Trade Center on September 11th. And the, I, I worked in the building right across the street, right across, um, on Broadway, right across the street from the South Tower. And that event and the aftermath of going back to work, you know, in the ensuing weeks, uh, left my lungs uh, not as, uh, they, they tend to be susceptible, like if I get sick, um, I'll get like a cough or, you know, issues with my lungs that take a really long time for them to clear out. And so um, after the, my bout with the flu, I'd had this really dry sort of cough, like my lungs were really irritated and there was something in there that, you know, they, they didn't like. So what I've been doing, and I did start doing this this morning, and I haven't coughed at all today, is I put eucalyptus in my diffuser and I've, you know, stayed here in my room and I've just been inhaling that and it's really done um, like, like I said, I'm breathing much easier and I'm not, I haven't coughed at all today. So something to keep in mind, um, diffusing essential oils can really help you, um, you know, with uh, health and uh, issues and detoxing, which is what this video is all about. And I also, I'm part of the, the, the Trade Center, um, you know, database that they keep and they often, I check in usually once a year and my doctors know all about it. So, and I'm doing fine. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, first things first, we are going to be doing a mask today, and we are going to be doing a green smoothie today. The mermaid mask from Leilani kind of um, what is, uh, inspired the mermaid green smoothie by me. So that's how the two, I sort of tried to link them together uh, in this video. So we're going to start with the detox ingredients that are going to be featured today. So today the uh, ingredients that we're going to be talking about primarily are spirulina and cracked corella. So spirulina is a nutrient dense organism. It's high in protein at 60 to 70 percent protein. That's pretty darn high. Um, it has lipids in it like uh, ALA, EPA, DHA, and other omega-3s. It also has the omega-6 GLA fatty acid in it as well. Um, it also has a full complement of B vitamins, including some B12. Although right now this is still the amount and the bioavailability of the B12 is still being researched, so I wouldn't consider you know spirulina as the answer to um, vegans who don't want to take uh, B12 from an animal source. Not yet, anyway. It has vitamin A and C, carotenoids, it has magnesium, chlorophyll, and vitamin K. So when I say nutrient dense, I mean nutrient dense. Um, it improves your immune response. It reduces histamine levels in the body, which is really important for people like me who you know, have allergies and tend to react and overreact. And it also kills viruses. Um, let's see. I'm reading, by the way, in case you're wondering why I keep looking down. As part of a detox, it chelates and removes heavy metals from the body and other toxins as well. It's, um, even, been, it's even been used to clean up environmental waste spills. So spirulina, um, as I, I think I said in the last video, um, you, the only thing you need to be aware of is that if it uh, is not grown in a pristine source, or a pristine environment, meaning non-toxic and very, very clean, it absorbs toxins. So it will absorb the toxins from its environment and then you will then be you know, ingesting toxins instead of and doing the exact opposite of what you want spirulina to do for you. 
The other, and this is also true of my next ingredient, and that's chlorella, which is a freshwater single cell organism. It's an algae, a green algae, and it has a hard cell wall on it that has to be opened up or cracked. And so usually you'll see uh, it referred to as cracked chlorella, and it, it's cracked so that the inner contents can be released. Chlorella is primarily used, at, used as a chelator, um, specifically of radiation, heavy metals, and dioxin. And it's also nutrient dense, like spirulina, with vitamins A, B complex, C, um, including some B12, vitamin E, and vitamin K. It also has <laughs> of multiple minerals in it. It has glutathione in it, which is the body's um, master antioxidant. And it can actually help smokers going through withdrawal because it also binds up and removes cadmium. So now I want to talk about this beautiful mermaid mask. Here it is right here from Leolani Skincare. And back in my um, best of skincare tag, I mentioned that this mask was on my wish list. And my good buddy out in Hawaii, um, Marie over at And the Color Green, sent me a little sample of the mask. And the first time I tried it, I uh, was going through a period where my skin was being extra, extra sensitive. It was stinging. Um, it was tight, uncomfortable. And I was really afraid to put anything on it. In fact, at that point, I think I was just cleansing my skin with honey and just putting on my day cream and sunscreen, and that was it. And it still didn't feel good. It still felt um, very uncomfortable, very dry, very tight, and very irritated. So I didn't want to try, try anything new, but I remembered that this mask is supposed to be very, very soothing. So um, I got out my sample, I put it on, and it felt so good that I didn't want to take it off. It was like the biggest relief. It was such a relief. Um, and I, of course, immediately went to the website and ordered the full size. This is 50 milliliters. It sells for $32 and it's worth every single penny. So let's give you a look at it. First, the first thing you'll notice is when you open it up, it smells like a fresh orange, like you just peeled an orange and opened it. You get that orange hint. Here it is close up. You can see the, the unusual green color and that's from the spirulina and the algae in here. The skincare is handmade in Hawaii and uh, the woman that owns the skincare company has a beautiful website that um, really does justice to the beauty of these products. It says that um, they call it a superfood green smoothie for all skin types. And they say on the site that it purifies, renews, nourishes, and hydrates. It boosts cellular uh, circulate. It boosts your circulation rather, and it strengthens your skin cells. It gives you what they call an aloha glow. It says also that their spirulina is grown in a pristine, biosecure zone, and that the spirulina in the mask helps with redness, acne uneven skin tones, and dryness. The chlorella, it also has chlorella in the mask, and it is organic and cracked. And it has high levels of vitamin A and C, which purifies and deeply cleanses and renews the skin. This mask also has raw honey in it, local raw honey, which, is, which has antiseptic and antimicrobial properties. It um, is a mild AHA, so it also exfoliates, and it is a humectant that adds moisture back into the skin. The other ingredients in here include, I'm just gonna read this off really quickly, um, luminous algae, which helps to increase cellular turnover to bring back that youthful glow, sea buckthorn CO2, which is anti-inflammatory and anti-aging, um, and also has high concentrations of vitamin A and C for skin cell regeneration and strengthens collagen to soften the appearance of wrinkles and photo aging. Um, it has French green clay and sea clay, which is harvested from an ancient seabed. I mean, come on. <laughs> um, and uh, it's mineral rich with algae and sulfur. 
And then there is a blend of essential oils in here that's, that are specifically chosen for their skin benefits. And then finally it says the last ingredient is love. I mean, this is, for $32, you are getting an incredible amount of high quality um, ingredients, pure ingredients, science-based ingredients, ingredients that actually do, that are active and do things for the skin. And um, if you sign up for their web, their um, email, you get 10% off your first order on their website. So that's, you even get to save a little more. So let me just tell you my experience quickly of using this mask. And so the first thing that I noticed was how soothing it was. Um, and once I did rinse it off, you'll notice an incredible smoothness. Um, right now I did this mask yesterday and right now my forehead is so smooth. <laughs> you could ice skate across it. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. Um, let's see. It's, uh, the other thing, the other thing, uh, that you'll notice is that at least I have noticed my skin gets better and better. It's getting, it seems to be getting stronger as opposed to, you know, kind of thin and irritated. It's, it's being nourished and feels stronger and more like normal skin. It behaves more like normal skin. The clays in here um, clean out the pores. So um, blackheads issues come out and they stay out. They don't come back the next day as they often do with other you know, masks that I've tried. So here's how I use it. Um, I apply it to damp skin. It's quite thick but uh, you can add a tiny bit of water to your fingertips or to your face to get it to spread a little easier. It's incredibly soothing. It's a little bit sticky from the honey, and, but you can leave this on as long as you want. Um, 20 minutes, up to an hour, whatever feels comfortable for you and your face. It does not dry down, so it stays shiny um, the whole time it's on. And then um, it rinses away really, really easily. So your skin, like I said, is soft, smoothed, moisturized, and it's glowing. It really is glowing. It's even, and I feel like it's even more toned and that it has, your skin has more substance. As I said, my skin just gets better and better every time I use this product. I am obsessed. Obsessing <laughs> over, I use this probably either once or twice a week, depending on um, the climate, uh, how dry it is. Um, but to prove to you that uh, my skin is improving and it's improving from this mask, today I am not wearing any foundation. I just uh, this morning I I did um, just a quick little cleanse in the shower with my regular cleanser, and then I did uh, six toners, the, the seven toner method. I did uh, three toners with, three applications with the Tierra Mia Organics toner, and this has um, lavender and chamomile tea in it. And then I did three more layers with the Healthy Skin Cucumber toner, which you guys are very familiar with. And after that, I just did my daytime moisturizer and my sunscreen. I used uh, some um, concealer here on the sides of the nose to cover up where my glasses, where I wear my glasses, and then a little under the eyes, a little around the sides of the nose because I felt it looked like a little red, and that is it. And then, of course, um, you know, I set that with powder and then applied blush and eye makeup and all that other stuff. And uh, so this is pretty much what my skin looks like on a daily basis without a uh, foundation because if I'm just running around somewhere, like to the mall or whatever, this is what I've been doing. So uh, Leilani, I always say that wrong. I think it's Leilani, the Leilani Mermaid uh, Mask. Go to their website and check out the beautiful photographs, the, um, the, the, the language that they use to describe their products is just poetry, and you could literally get lost just reading about how they source their ingredients, uh, how they craft their products, and just looking at how beautiful everything is. So 
check them out. Uh, this is my first purchase. It's not going to be my last. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be without this mask as long as it keeps working and I'm really uh, anxious to try some of the other products on the website. So we are now going to move on to my inspired by the mermaid mask, my superfood mermaid green smoothie. So let's zip down to my kitchen and I'll show you how I put it together. So here are the ingredients for the smoothie. This is the fruit portion. I've got frozen banana here, pineapple because we're doing tropical, so mango as well. And because the mermaid mask smells like fresh oranges, I'm going to put a little bit of an orange in there too. Then for the detox portion, I'm using, these are Genesis Today Greens, 25 billion probiotics with flaxseed and spirulina. So we're getting our spirulina here. Also on this ingredient panel, I'll come in close, um, you'll see their sea plant blend they have 1.7 grams of spirulina and here you have your shattered cell wall or cracked corella powder at 500 milligrams they've also got kelp and algae as well as a full complement of um, probiotics and um, spices as well as superfoods here let's see got a little bit of glare there so you've got superfoods and um, their digestion blend here, so chlorophyll you can see, and um, you've got digestive enzymes, and like I said, a ton of probiotics. So this is um, one of my favorite supplements, and I'm going to use about half of this package today. Then, as if that's not enough greens, this is pulverized kale that <laughs> um, I actually blanch it and then pulverize it in the blender and I put a big dollop of this on top of Duffy's uh, dinner every night at the recommendation of his vet. So I'm just gonna use up the rest of this in the smoothie and then make him some more tonight. And then the last ingredient we're going, because we're going uh, tropical, we're using coconut almond milk from Khalifa Farms. And not only is this carrageenan free, but it's also not fortified. So there's no corn derived vitamins or propylene glycol or corn oil in this. And it is the first almond milk or nut milk that I've actually been able to buy over the counter and drink. So that's going in for flavor. And I almost forgot a little bit of raw honey for sweetness. Here it is! <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? I mean, wow! Look at that green color. That's incredible. So let's taste. Like, I don't know what this tastes like. I do. Mm. It's, <laughs> it's really, really good. It has a very pina colada flavor right now. Um, and what's nice about this is that uh, you can adjust the amounts of, you know, the, the types of fruit that you want to put in here and the amounts. Um, right now, oh, sorry. <laughs> right now, the, uh, I think it, the next time I do this, I will use less pineapple and more mango because the uh, pineapple is kind of, you know, has this big flavor that's kind of overpowering or overshadowing everything else. But this is just a wonderful thing that you can do for your body. It's very easy, the ingredients are easy to get. Uh, if you don't have access to fresh mango, just get frozen and um, enjoy. Okay, everybody, 
Thank you so much for um, watching my detox part two. Part three, I'm going to be talking about other ways besides that diffuser to uh, detox your home. Really easy, simple ways that you can all do. So if you uh, enjoyed this video and you thought it was helpful, please uh, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And um, in the meantime, everyone take care. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.